Okay, this video podcast is really meaningful. Pay attention. I'm John Laspina. I am the carnivore teacher. And yes, I eat the proper human diet, just like Dr. Ken Berry. I believe, and I know it's true, that cholesterol is a good thing. LDL cholesterol is good. I know you've been told the opposite for years. Everybody was. But LDL cholesterol is protective. Our brain is made of cholesterol. All the structure of our cells, of every cell in our body, is made of cholesterol. You need cholesterol. Here's an interesting observation they just found out. A person who eats a lot of grains and junk food and not a lot of healthy foods, what happens to them? They get fat. They get obese. They measured their cholesterol and their cholesterol, their LDL cholesterol dropped. They had a lower LDL. But when they went on a low carb diet, whether it was keto or ketovore or carnivore or just low carb, they lost weight because carbohydrates make you fat because it turns into sugar. Sugar gets stored as fat. They lost weight. They measured their LDL cholesterol. Their LDL cholesterol went up. LDL cholesterol is protective. People who are older in their 70s, 80s, and 90s and beyond have a higher LDL cholesterol. They live longer. People with a lower cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, have a higher morbidity rate. These are facts. And we've been told the exact opposite. They sell statins to everybody gets pushed a statin when they go to the doctor. If your LDL cholesterol is over 100, you have to be on a statin to pull it down. I don't want my cholesterol lowered. My LDL cholesterol is made by my liver and really by the brain and by every part of the body to be higher because it's protecting me and it's building. It's building the myelin sheaths around all my neurons. Think of a wire. Here's the wire that's connecting my microphone. This wire has two or three wires going through there and they can't touch each other or else they'll short out. So what do they have? The little wires inside have insulation around them, and then they're wrapped up in this one big piece of rubber insulation, which does not conduct electrons. And now when the signal from the microphone goes into my, my iPhone that's recording this video, the three wires that are in there, or the four wires, they're all protected with insulation. That insulation in our spinal cord and all the nerve endings going up, our, up the back to our brain, they all have insulation around them so they don't short out. That's called myelin. That's made out of cholesterol. If you lower your cholesterol by taking a statin, you are robbing the cholesterol from being maintained around the myelin sheaths. People with MS, the myelin sheaths around their spinal cord are decaying. That's what multiple sclerosis is. And then they have shorts and they have problems because of that. That's what MS is. Having a higher LDL is protective. It's healthy. Our brain is made of cholesterol. Our cell structures are made of cholesterol. My testosterone that makes me a man and the little tiny bit of estrogen that I have that's balanced comes from cholesterol. Women, your estrogen and that little tiny bit of testosterone that you have comes from cholesterol. There's a, there's a cholesterol that has oxidized that has gone bad. And that's what happens when you eat vegetable seed oils. And that's what happens when you eat a lot of carbohydrates and sugar. There are parts of the cholesterol that can oxidize and become damaged, a little tiny micro damage. And then that can cause a problem. The cholesterol that makes the plaque in the arteries that closes the artery up that causes heart attacks or strokes isn't just from the cholesterol. The cholesterol flows through there no matter what. But when you eat a lot of carbohydrates and sugar in excess, that carbohydrate and sugar is sticky. It sticks onto the endothelial cells of your arteries and damages them. And one of cholesterol's jobs, remember I said cholesterol's good? It's a good guy. It's the firefighter. The cholesterol sees that and with cholesterol and calcium and many other little things that happen, it makes a band-aid, a plaque to fix your artery. 
Cholesterol is fixing your artery for you. Isn't that wonderful? But if you keep damaging that artery by eating lots of carbs and sugar, you put a Band-Aid on top of a Band-Aid on top of a Band-Aid on top of a Band-Aid, and now the blood can't get through, and there's your heart attack and stroke. Don't blame the firemen for the fire. The firemen came to put out the fire. What started the fire was chronic excessive carbohydrates and sugar over a long period of time. It's seed oils that are inflammatory. All these things combined cause cholesterol to rush to the area to fix it. LDL is good. They say don't have a high LDL. Do you know what my LDL is? All my blood markers are beautiful, pristine. My LDL two years ago was 312. It now is 298, but that would send a doctor in the hospital. Your LDL is 300. Oh my God, you're going to die in five seconds. Not true. My mass is lean and my body is responding in a hyper manner to my health by producing low density lipoproteins. My LDL is being made by my own liver and my brain and my body's making this LDL. It's not coming from the food. Very small amount of cholesterol comes from the foods you eat. My body is, for some reason, making more because I'm healthier. What does that tell you? It tells you that LDL is being asked for by the body. It wants it. It's protective. It's healthy. People with a high LDL in the absence of carbohydrates and sugar, very healthy. So if you take away one thing from this video, it's don't eat carbohydrates and sugar so that you don't damage your arteries so that that LDL doesn't make a plaque. That's it. That's all I want you to take away from this. And I want you to take away that LDL is not bad. It's protective. Have a good day.